Once upon a time, in the heart of the deep forest, under the lush green trees, among the rivers and lakes, there lived a deer. This deer was one of the most graceful and lovable creatures of the forest. The deer spent its days wandering in the forest and exploring the beauty of nature. One day, as the deer was strolling by the river, it suddenly encountered a butterfly shining with dazzling colors. Fluttering its wings, the butterfly caught the deer's attention and flew towards it, landing beside it. The deer smiled at the butterfly's cheerful demeanor, and thus they began to get to know each other. The deer and the butterfly walked together along the riverside. The river sparkled with calm and clear waters. While the butterfly danced with its colorful wings above the water, the deer watched around, admiring the beauties of nature. Suddenly, a gentle breeze was felt in the forest, and the wind began to carry the butterfly away from the deer's side. The deer immediately tried to catch the butterfly with its antlers, but struggled against the strength of the wind. Luckily, the deer eventually succeeded in safely catching the butterfly. The deer held the butterfly securely and hugged it tightly. Thus, the butterfly was saved from the influence of the wind. The deer and the butterfly continued to wander in the forest together, gathering memories full of friendship and love. And so, the friendship between the deer and the butterfly enabled them to support each other in challenging situations. This story reminds us of the importance of friendship and cooperation. Remember, true friends will always be by your side. Dear friends, did you learn beautiful lessons from this tale? Now, prepare for a good night's sleep and sweet dreams. Until we meet again for new adventures, farewell. Once upon a time, in the warm and lush forests of Africa, a magnificent leopard with striking spots and a small chicken formed an unlikely friendship. The leopard's name was King and the chicken's name was Pip. Despite their differences, they found each other even in the farthest corners of the forest, forming a genuine bond. King was one of the most feared hunters in the forest, known for his dazzling eyes and powerful claws that instilled fear in other animals. Yet, what truly captivated others was the heart he carried beneath his tough exterior. Pip, on the other hand, was a small chicken, but courageous and cheerful. Though not as strong as King, Pip impressed everyone with his intelligence and friendliness. One day, a fire broke out deep in the forest. The flames quickly spread, engulfing the surroundings. While other animals fled in fear, King sprang into action. His mission was to rescue the other animals in the forest. However, amidst the raging inferno, he couldn't locate Pip. Frantically searching, King suddenly spotted Pip trapped amidst the burning trees. The little chicken trembled in fear, enveloped in smoke. Without hesitation, King rushed to Pip's side and scooped him up in his arms. He braved the flames, carrying Pip to safety. When the fire subsided, the forest slowly began to recover. Other animals applauded King's bravery and his selfless act of rescuing Pip. King and Pip were hailed as heroes of the forest. Following this ordeal, the bond between King and Pip grew even stronger. They felt an even deeper connection to each other. The friendship between the mighty leopard and the brave chicken became the stuff of legend in the forest, believed to endure for eternity. King and Pip became known as the best of friends in the forest. They hunted together, played together, and supported each other. Their unique friendship served as an inspiration to all who knew them. In a faraway place, at the edge of a lush forest, lived a giraffe and a bird. 
the giraffe, with its long legs and towering height, enjoyed gazing at the sky, relishing the taste of freedom it offered. The bird, with its lightweight wings, danced with the wind and soared freely in the sky. Oh, how much I miss the sky! With my wing broken, I've lost the joy of flying. The giraffe felt sorry for its friend, the bird, and wanted to help. However, until the bird's wing healed, they needed to find a solution. The giraffe decided to come up with a plan and offered to show the bird the sky by carrying it on its head. Don't worry, my friend. We will watch the sky together. Perhaps this way you can find happiness again, just like in the old days. The bird perched on the giraffe's neck, and they began to rise slowly. As the bird realized they were high up in the sky, a smile appeared on its face. Just like in the days when it could fly, it experienced the joy of watching the endless blue sky. Ah, oh, how beautiful. I feel free again now. Thank you, my friend. Together, the giraffe and the bird enjoyed the beauty of the sky, cherishing joyful moments with the strength of their friendship. And thus, they showed the power of overcoming obstacles and finding happiness together. Here we are, dear viewers, at the end of a magical tale where we discovered the enchanting power of friendship and solidarity. Remember, no matter how difficult it may seem, friendship can always be the key to finding a solution. Until our next story, goodbye and sweet dreams. Once upon a time, in the heart of a warm African savanna, there lived an elephant and a monkey. The elephant, large and powerful, and the monkey, small and agile, were the best of friends. They shared many adventures together, and their bond was unbreakable. One day, the elephant decided to go to a distant lake in the forest to drink water. However, the journey was long, and the elephant began to feel tired. Seeing his friend struggling, the monkey decided to help. The monkey climbed onto the elephant's back, and together they continued their journey to the lake. With the monkey's encouragement and support, the elephant reached the water and quenched his thirst. Grateful for the monkey's assistance, the elephant thanked him with a warm smile. From that day on, their friendship grew even stronger. They vowed to always help each other in times of need and to stand by each other no matter what. Their act of kindness inspired other animals in the savanna to help one another as well. As time passed, the elephant and the monkey faced many challenges together, but their friendship remained steadfast. They knew that true friendship was built on sacrifice and trust, and they were always there for each other. And so, the tale of the elephant and the monkey's friendship spread throughout the savanna, teaching everyone the importance of kindness, loyalty, and trust. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows through the forest, a sense of tranquility settled over the land. Yet within this tranquil setting, a remarkable friendship bloomed between a fox and an owl, a friendship that would withstand the tests of time and adversity. Deep within the heart of the forest, amidst the towering trees and rustling leaves, lived a cunning fox and a wise owl. The fox, known for its agility and keen senses, often roamed the forest floor in search of prey. Meanwhile, the owl, with its silent flight and sharp vision, ruled the night skies with grace and elegance. At first glance, one might assume that the fox and the owl were natural adversaries, their differences in hunting styles and habitats seemingly setting them apart. However, fate had other plans, 
and an unexpected encounter brought them together in an unlikely friendship. One crisp autumn day, as the leaves danced in the breeze and the forest hummed with life, the fox stumbled upon the owl perched majestically on a tree branch. Intrigued by the owl's serene presence, the fox approached cautiously, expecting a hostile reaction. Much to its surprise, the owl greeted the fox with a gentle hoot, and thus began their extraordinary friendship. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the fox and the owl spent countless hours exploring the forest together. The fox, with its swift movements and keen sense of smell, led the way on the forest floor, while the owl, with its silent wings and piercing eyes, guided them from above. One day, a friendly race was organized among the forest creatures, and the fox eagerly volunteered to participate. With its natural agility and speed, the fox seemed like the clear favorite to win. However, as the race began, the fox encountered an unexpected obstacle, struggling to navigate the dense undergrowth. Watching from above, the owl recognized the fox's predicament and swooped down to offer assistance. With a few graceful flaps of its wings, the owl guided the fox through the thicket ensuring that they reached the finish line together. Grateful for the owl's help, the fox realized the true value of their friendship. From that day forward, the fox and the owl stood by each other through thick and thin, facing the challenges of the forest as a united front. And so, amidst the whispers of the wind and the rustling of leaves, the bond between the fox and the owl grew strong long ago, deep within the forest, amidst the lush green trees, lived two friends named Panda and Frog. Panda usually wandered quietly among the bamboo trees, finding solace in the tranquility of nature. Frog, on the other hand, enjoyed exploring every corner of the forest with its cheerful demeanor. One day, while Frog was wandering through the forest, it noticed a bird trapped in a tangle of vines. Intrigued, Frog approached to rescue the bird. However, as Frog attempted to intervene, the vines unexpectedly ensnared Frog as well. Feeling trapped the moment the vines tightened around it, Frog struggled to break free, but the vines only seemed to constrict further. Inside, Frog was panicking and crying for help, hoping someone would come to its rescue. Meanwhile, Panda, renowned for its silence, was traversing through the forest when it heard Frog's cries for help. Without hesitation, Panda changed course and headed towards the sound. Upon reaching the source of the distress, Panda found Frog entangled in the vines. Using its large and powerful claws, Panda carefully began to loosen the vines, ensuring not to harm Frog in the process. Each move was calculated and deliberate, as Panda worked diligently to free Frog. As the vines gradually began to loosen, Panda's persistence paid off, and Frog was eventually liberated from its entrapment. Grateful for its newfound freedom, Frog looked at Panda with a sense of gratitude, to which Panda simply smiled and said, anything for a friend. After expressing its gratitude, Frog thanked Panda, and the two continued to spend time together in the peaceful atmosphere of the forest. They both knew that this experience had only strengthened their friendship further, and they felt closer to each other than ever before. In the end, Panda's bravery and Frog's gratitude deepened their bond even more. Together, they pledged to remain steadfast friends, committed to each other in the beautiful forest they called home. Once upon a time, in a green and tranquil meadow, the friendship between a hedgehog and a sheep 
was woven with an extraordinary bond. The hedgehog, nameless but harboring boundless warmth in its heart, was a creature of gentle nature. The sheep, another nameless creature sharing its story with its companion, was known for its woolly coat and boasted of its wool. The hedgehog's heart bled for the lovelessness of its own spines. Despite being friendly and compassionate, no one dared to approach it because of its prickly exterior. The sheep witnessed this reality and set out with determination to help its friend. One day, the hedgehog approached the sheep, looking sad, and expressed its distress about feeling alone because of its spines. The sheep saw its friend's pain and pondered what it could do to comfort it. Eventually, it believed it found a solution. After some thought, the sheep came up with an idea. Slowly, it began to groom its wool and wove a soft garment to cover the hedgehog's spines. Before long, a garment was ready to conceal the hedgehog's spines, allowing for warm embraces. When the hedgehog put on the garment, it felt a sense of peace within. It saw that its spines no longer hurt anyone, and it thanked the sheep with a warm embrace. The sheep felt joy seeing its friend happy. With the sheep's help, the hedgehog began to interact more comfortably with other animals. Seeing that its spines no longer caused harm, other animals started to treat it more warmly. The hedgehog felt grateful to the sheep and never forgot its friendship and assistance. And thus, the friendship between the hedgehog and the sheep proved to be stronger than any obstacles. They accepted each other's differences and worked together to overcome barriers, discovering the power of true friendship. As days passed, the hedgehog and the sheep continued to walk together in the meadow, representing a story of warm friendship woven beneath the thorns. Once upon a time, Deep within the forest, there stood a magnificent tree adorned with lush green leaves. This grand tree was home to a woodpecker and a squirrel. While the woodpecker resided in the upper branches with its vibrant plumage, the squirrel had made its nest in the lower part with its soft fur. Every night, the woodpecker's pecking on the tree began to disturb the squirrel and its young ones sleep. The squirrel grew increasingly agitated by this situation. Night after night, it struggled to put its young ones to sleep, only to be awakened by the woodpecker's sounds, prompting it to try to soothe them back to slumber. Yet, more often than not, these efforts were in vain. One night, the woodpecker's pecking grew even louder pushing the squirrel to its limits. Frustrated, the squirrel marched over to the woodpecker and engaged in a heated argument. However, unable to calm down enough to end the quarrel, the squirrel found itself embroiled in conflict. Following this incident, the woodpecker realized the extent of the squirrel's distress and offered a heartfelt apology. However, the squirrel remained deeply hurt and refused to engage in conversation. One day, while the squirrel ventured out to find food for its young ones, a predatory bird swooped in to prey upon the squirrel's offspring. Helpless cries echoed from the young ones as they feared for their lives. Hearing their desperate pleas from a neighboring tree, the woodpecker sprang into action. With piercing cries, the woodpecker frightened off the predatory bird, rescuing the squirrel's young ones. Upon returning home, the squirrel witnessed the woodpecker's heroic act and, overcome with emotion, embraced it and begged for forgiveness. Touched by the gesture, the woodpecker forgave the squirrel and their friendship grew even stronger. From that day forward, 
they both understood the importance of sharing the same tree. Instead of restless nights filled with the woodpeckers pecking, a serene and peaceful slumber prevailed between the squirrel and the woodpecker. And henceforth, they treated each other with greater understanding and respect. This was the magnificent tale of the woodpecker and the squirrel, a story of friendship and courage. May it inspire you and teach you the value of friendship. Hello, dear friends. Today, we present to you a heartwarming bedtime story. In this tale, we'll explore the unexpected and wonderful friendship between a penguin and a kangaroo. Let's dive into this unique adventure together. Once upon a time, amidst the freezing cold of the Antarctic ice, there lived a lone penguin. Far away from its companions in the icy wilderness, the penguin struggled in the grip of loneliness and cold. One day, while swimming in the sea, it got lost and found itself stranded on a deserted island. Feeling cold and alone, the penguin set out to find a warm shelter. Meanwhile, in the warm and vibrant lands of Australia, a kangaroo hopped freely. Enjoying the warmth and sunshine, the kangaroo played games with its friends. However, one day during an exploration, it wandered far from home and found itself stranded on the same island. As the penguin wandered helplessly on the island, it spotted the kangaroo. The kangaroo, realizing that the penguin needed help, approached it. With a welcoming gesture, the kangaroo offered assistance to the penguin. Together, the kangaroo carried the penguin to a cozy cave. The penguin felt safe and warm in this comfortable place. The kangaroo helped find food for the penguin and provided warmth. At night, the kangaroo tucked the penguin into its warm pouch, offering it comfort and security. The penguin found solace in the kangaroo's presence. A strong friendship blossomed between them. One day, an unexpected storm hit the island. As the winds howled and the rain poured, the kangaroo and the penguin held on to each other tightly, supporting one another. Through the hardships of the storm, their friendship grew even stronger. When the storm subsided, the kangaroo and the penguin embraced each other, realizing they never wanted to part ways. The penguin would never forget the warmth and security the kangaroo provided, and they vowed to remain friends forever. And thus, the tale of the penguin and the kangaroo's unexpected friendship comes to an end. We hope this story brings you comfort and leads you into a peaceful sleep. Until we meet again, good night, dear friends. In the distant lands of the African savanna, there lived a herd of zebras adorned with colorful stripes. This herd was bound together by camaraderie and love. However, one day, an extraordinary foal joined the herd. His name was Chino. Unlike the others, Chino was a donkey, but he lacked the distinctive stripes. Chino's story stemmed from his childhood. Little Chino roamed the savanna all alone until he was found by a zebra family. They took him in, loving him as their own and raising him as part of their own. Chino loved them just the same. However, the other zebras noticed Chino's lack of stripes and began to regard him with suspicion. They ostracized him, mocked him, and at times even attempted to drive him away from the herd. Though saddened by this treatment, Sino's inner goodness and courage never wavered. One day, deep within the savanna, a great danger threatened the herd. A hunter had set his sights on the zebras. As the herd scattered in panic, Sino sprang into action. Though lacking in stripes, his heart was as large and brave as any. Sino made every sacrifice to protect the herd from harm. He thought with his heart, made plans, and took action. 
As the other zebras looked on in astonishment, Tino took the lead and guided the herd to safety. His courage and intelligence were enough to save them. Over time, the other zebras came to see Chino as a true hero. His difference was no longer a hindrance, but a source of strength. They admired his courage and determination and accepted him as part of the herd. From that day forth, Chino's lack of stripes became a symbol within the zebra herd. While everyone may be different, our differences unite and empower us. And so, children, Chino's adventure came to an end. Remember, we live in a world where everyone is different, and it is these differences that make us special. Now close your eyes and drift off into sweet dreams. Good night. Once upon a time, in the heart of a lush forest, there resided a rabbit unlike any other. This rabbit, known far and wide for its timid nature, lived in constant fear, perceiving every rustle of the leaves and shadowy movement as potential threats. Yet, amidst this fearful existence, the rabbit harbored a deep admiration for the majestic lion, the revered king of the forest. Oh, how I wish I could possess the courage and strength of the lion. He roams fearlessly through the forest, unshaken by the perils that surround us. However, the rabbit's aspirations were often met with ridicule and mockery from the very creature it idolized. The lion, with his commanding presence, would jest at the rabbit's expense, belittling its timidity and casting disdain upon its dreams of bravery. Look who scurries in fear at the slightest rustle of the leaves, the forest's bravest creature indeed. Yet fate had a curious twist in store for our timid protagonist. One fateful day, disaster struck as the lion found himself ensnared in a treacherous pit, unable to free himself from the entanglement of branches and earth. As the echoes of the lion's distress call reverberated through the forest, the rabbit found itself at a crossroads, its own fears paling in comparison to the plight of its once mocked idol. Perhaps within me lies the courage to aid my lion in his time of need. It is time for me to rise above my fears and embark on a journey of true bravery. With a newfound resolve burning within its heart, the rabbit ventured forth into the darkness, guided by an unyielding determination to offer aid to the lion. Through a narrow crevice, the rabbit maneuvered, inching closer to the trapped lion with each passing moment until, at last, it stood beside its idol, offering solace amidst the chaos. Rabbit, you have proven yourself a hero in the truest sense. Your selfless act of bravery has saved me from certain peril. From this day forth, I shall regard you not as a timid creature, but as my dearest friend. And so, amidst the verdant embrace of the forest, a bond forged in the crucible of adversity blossomed between the rabbit and the lion. Together, they roamed the forest as equals, their friendship serving as a beacon of hope and courage for all who traversed their domain. And thus, dear viewers, we conclude our tale of bravery and friendship. May the story of the brave rabbit and the noble lion serve as a reminder that courage knows no bounds and true friendship knows. Once upon a time, in the depths of a lush forest, there lived a tiny mouse and a massive rhinoceros. The mouse, small but brave, was known for its agility and resourcefulness. The rhinoceros, on the other hand, was a towering figure with immense strength. One day, the mouse, while playing in the forest, found itself lost. It searched high and low for its family and home, but to no avail. 
Days passed, and the mouse began to feel increasingly lonely. It wondered if its family had given up hope and believed it to be dead. Filled with sorrow and longing for companionship, the mouse made the difficult decision to leave the forest. With a heavy heart, it journeyed away from its familiar surroundings, hoping to find solace elsewhere. After traveling for some time, the mouse settled in a secluded area, resigned to its solitude. However, loneliness weighed heavily on its spirit, and the mouse yearned for companionship. One fateful day, while wandering through the forest, the mouse encountered an elderly and lonely rhinoceros. The rhinoceros, understanding the mouse's plight, offered friendship and companionship. Grateful for the rhinoceros's kindness, the mouse shared its tale of loss and loneliness. The rhinoceros, empathizing with the mouse's situation, welcomed it with open arms. United by their shared sense of isolation, the mouse and the rhinoceros decided to forge a bond of friendship. Together, they created a cozy home in the forest where they could support and care for each other. As time passed, their friendship grew stronger and they found joy in each other's company. The mouse no longer felt alone and the rhinoceros found comfort in having a loyal companion by its side. And so, the unlikely friendship between the mouse and the rhinoceros blossomed, bringing warmth and happiness to their lives. Together, they faced the challenges of the forest with courage and determination, proving that true friendship knows no bounds. Once upon a time, in the depths of the green forests, there lived a horse and a stork on the lush grasslands. The horse, with its long legs and sturdy build, stood out, while the stork enjoyed the pleasure of gliding in the sky with its wings. Both animals lived their lives in different parts of the forest. Initially, the horse and the stork didn't understand each other very well. The horse envied the stork's ability to fly, while the stork envied the horse's strength. One day, a great disaster struck the forest. A large, bushy-tailed snake spread wildfires around, threatening all habitats. The horse ran around in fear, while the stork panickedly circled in the air. But the fire had engulfed everything, and the animals couldn't handle this situation on their own. At that moment, the horse and the stork decided to come together. While the horse tried to extinguish the fire with its strength, the stork surrounded the fire in the air with its wings. Together, they fought against the fire. Although they struggled at first, they realized the importance of combining their strengths as they worked together. Eventually, they managed to bring the fire under control. The forest began to revive amidst the ashes and smoke. Other animals saw the heroism of the horse and the stork and approached them with gratitude. The two animals, after experiencing this ordeal together, grew even closer to each other. The horse and the stork were now the best friends of the forest. Together, they worked to protect the forest and help other animals. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, and they continued to fight together for the peace of the forest. And thus, the adventure of the horse and the stork coming together not only extinguished a fire, but also strengthened 